Okay, so we're now here at the booth of Techno here at MWC. And uh, one of the products that they announced recently is the Techno Pocket Go. So it's uh, actually a handheld gaming device with an AR glass included. No? Now, they told me that they're thinking of selling it in a bundle because you can actually use the Pocket Go, which is the glasses, even sa ibang mga smartphones that, support, uh, that supports uh, display port, no? yung uh, display no? over Type-C. And I'm just really happy that uh, they have this kind of product because they're going to compete against other uh, handheld gaming uh, brands in the market no? like uh, AOKZO, uh, Steam Deck, no, Valve of course, uh, Lenovo, and even um, ROG. But this time, it's even better because you have the option to either get just simply the glasses or you have the option to also get the uh, handheld gaming device. But since that handheld gaming device does not include uh, a display, ang display mo is actually the glasses. So you have the option to use it on other external monitors, but you know, best value is to get both, especially if they're running a, um, a promo in selling those things. Now, what makes me very interested is its capability to be able to play your favorite games on a handheld gaming device factor. Okay yun. I, I kind of doubt if they'll be bringing it to the Philippines. I don't even know if they're gonna do that, but I'm hoping that they would do it. Uh, it's running on AMD Ryzen 8000 series, which is one of the first in the market to be able to do that. It's really nice. Ako excited ako. At sana dalhin nila. Sana merong uh, uh, product na dalhin sila sa Pilipinas just for demo purposes. So, yeah. Can't wait to try it out again. Here's a quick demo of how that is being used or how you can use the Pocket Go. Okay, so this is the uh, Pocket Go. This is uh, the handheld gaming device that is powered by AMD Ryzen 8000 series. And as you can see, this has his uh, this uh, Type C port. Na supported niya yung uh, uh, video over Type C. And uh, basically, this is the one that is powering up this one. This one has a 50 watt hour battery. And this acts as a secondary or a primary monitor for this one, as this does not have. Uh, display or screen, no? unlike other handle gaming devices like uh, Steam Deck, ROG Ally, or Lenovo Legion Go. So this is basically the display that you're gonna use the entirety of you playing the game. And it's very interesting because uh, it's very portable to use. It's just the glasses and everything that you need to use is just on this um, gaming device. And yung alang no, medyo mikakapalan siya ng konti, as you can see right here. No, ito yung vent niya. Uh, you have here the full uh, asymmetrical uh, controls right here. You have here the home button, uh, X, Y, A, B controls. You have triggers. Very good yung uh, response rate and triggers. Meron siyang parang vibration effect, which is kind of it's giving that uh, parang may pagka haptic feedback yung style niya. Not dual sense level. You have uh, switches at the bottom. And that's really nice, no? Ang ganda ng pagkakagawa niya. Makapal lang talaga siya, no? But it's like you are carrying uh, just a controller with, uh, you know, things inside, completo, uh, no? And, you know, cyber, Cyberpunk 2077 uh, plays very well on this device. I tried to uh, use it earlier and it's really performing really well for me. Right now.